All right, I think I can see it all right. That group right there has it. So, I know that it's hard to see this uh, online, folks, but there's a drop of water that's right here. I'm just taking a toothpick, and I'm going to drag my drop of water all the way across the paper. I can just keep right on going with it. I don't know if you guys can see that okay. Where's the cup? Not so much. Yeah, no problem. Like, where are the cups? Or I can take that. Or that I can grab um, And then the next part of it is I'm going to put a drop of water, a couple of drops of water at the start of this maze. Um, and I'm going to take the paper, um, the toothpick, and the toothpick is just kind of pulling the stream of water right along with it. So I can pull that drop of water all the way through the maze. Alright. And then the last part wants to know well, what happens if I add soap to my to uh, to my toothpick. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I've got my soap. I'm gonna add my soap to my toothpick. They just come out a lot. And I'm going to put drops of water at the start. And now I'm going to try to do the same thing I just did with a paper or a toothpick. And now I'm out of water. All it did was create a long stream of water. It stretched it out more. So I'm going to take this video and I'm going to post the video for you to observe because I think the video does a better job. I'm running another camera right here next to me.